Wow, the ring counter even flashes when you have zero rings, even on the pause screen. Also, he's staring into your soul right now. Hello everyone, this is Ultimate Number, and welcome back for more Song Adventure. In the last part, we did Ice Cap and talked to everyone, really, not much else. And this part, we're gonna continue on, shall we? Cutscene. Dramatic zoom in. Oh my gosh. In this corner, big. And the other corner, froggy. Also, why did that... Why the transition? That no... There's no reason to do that. I never knew that, but that won't stop me anyway. A long-tailed frog was seen heading toward the beach. You know, normally at this time I would talk, re-talk to the people at Mystic Ruins, because after cutscenes you gotta assume everything. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins. I will only, however, seen. talk to. Yeah, I'm, ass I'm assuming everyone doesn't change. If they do, I'll put it in post. I I'm gonna work in post anyway, so yeah. I'm for once I'm not gonna actually go back to. Talk. But I will, however, talk to these people. Literally everything else. Subjects. You know, since the living room is clean, I could actually have an office. <laughs> Funny. But during the recordings of Gex, I did actually have an office in there. And by office, I mean in the world workspace. Jeez, everybody been paying attention to Froggy. Jeez. Well, time flies, don't you know? And we're just gonna go fly fishing. You! You... You people are all the same. Well, these NPCs. Like, maybe that kid, this kid... Mainly the kids. It's these days. Also, why car? Why haven't you moved? I honestly think it would better it would be better if I had an office. Because then I'd feel more alone and it would allow more leeway. And <laughs> what do you say? Shifty stare. He stares right into your soul. Let's do that every single time. Just talk to her. Then just do it. It's better just to do it. Like I always do when I record. Yep. But, but also it's bad. Speaking of being no noisy. I hate loud noises. It's like... I can never ever go to like assemblies or like large crowds of people. Mainly why I hate thunder. Also. What? Is this. When did I get the gold egg in? Wait, wait what? What? Hold on. Hold on, I gotta check something. Wait, like what? I did not get the gold egg. I don't... I don't even... 
What? Actually, this gives me time to show something else. I'm not gonna race Chow, I'm, I, I, I'm doing this for my own curiosity. This gives me time to show off something else. No. No, wait, never mind, you actually have to unlock the garden to be able to warp there. Never mind. Also, I now have to delete the Chow save now that I created the Chow save data. Sorry, but rules are rules. I swear if that gold egg never respawns. Hold on, let me check right now. Like, um, I'll do this, like, so everybody can witness. Okay, go in here. Adventure. So Select a character. Let's get him! I have to see. Is the gold egg gonna be there? I swear I've never gotten it. Get out of the way! Jeez. I just wanna see if I got the gold egg. If the game thinks I have the gold egg. What? When did it- what? Why? Okay, let me check something else. This gives me time to show off something else. I'm, I'm switching files. Options. You can select a memory card. Oh, hold on. Gotta, gotta show this off too, otherwise people will ask, how do you insert controllers? You just go to Maple. It, this is only temporary select though. File. Yeah, this is my, like... Options. This is my backup. You can customize I always keep it backup. Okay, Adventure, select the Sonic... Character. Let's get him! I have to, I have to see. Does getting that lore actually make the game think you have the gold egg? It does! Oh my gosh, it does! So I... I permanently... No, no. I actually effed myself out of getting the gold egg. Oh my gosh. Like, what kind of glitch is that? I, I gotta look further into that. Like, what? Option. Is the Select silver the egg gone card. too? Select a file. Options. Like, what the fuck, man? Select a character. Hold on, Draggy! I'm coming! Hold on, Goldie! I'm coming for you, too. It, like, you're not the only one searching for a friend. Like, you're gonna watch every single second of this. I... I'm not editing this out, but... Like, I have... You have to witness what this glitch has wrought upon us. Also, sorry about that. Like, I don't care how long this is now. I have to see, is the silver egg still there? The tail snatch it? It looks like it's there, but I have to see it up close, or else I won't believe it. Okay, good. The silver egg's still there, but the gold egg is gone. The gold egg is literally gone. Why? 
like the train in station in one gay way in the game's coding. Did it make the gold egg disappear? Like wow. Astounding. Also, I have, I don't even know if I talked to everybody or not in here. I know I talked to everyone in here, but I have to check City Hall. Oh yeah, cutscene. Anyway, let's go continue our adventure and trekking. Did I talk to everyone here? I think I talked to these two, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I know I did, because... I know I talked to... I think... Yeah, I just definitely talked to everyone, because I definitely talked to you, right? It's like... Why? Like, who did this? Why? What did this? Did somebody... Eat it. The game ate it. I'm not happy. <laughs> I can't have a gold chow. There is a Mrs. Sinaru and Hi Mrs. Hikari and Mr. Naito. Or how you pronounce those names. I'm, I'm pronouncing them that way. I don't care how it's pronounced. Can't stop me. Well, you shouldn't eat frogs either. Eat. Anyone, anyone eating in the pool? No eating in the pool. Yeah, I caught a dead person eating at the pool. And he got annoyed because the guy kept saying, What is that, panetto cheese? What is that, panetto cheese? Sir, what is that? What are you eating? Never watched the thing myself for the record, but yeah, it's pretty, it's, I still find it pretty funny. Die! Best music in the game. Actually, no, it's, it's pretty good, honestly. Come back here. Come back here, you big monkey. So this is one of the best stages to explore if big, if not the ice cap is. This is actually the area you visit with Sonic after the Orca chase. There's a secret passage somewhere. Go and find and it. And yeah, there's a secret passage here which doesn't exist as Sonic. The frog you are looking for is up ahead. The frog, not Froggy. The frog. The call. The call doesn't. Apparently, the call doesn't care, but the NPCs the Station Square do. Kind of sad, actually. Also, I like how Big looks at the animals that that people, that the things drop. I wonder if you can actually get up there as Big. Let's find out. This one up's basically free. Why is there a life there? Okay, can you jump on this? No, you can't. When you're Sonic, you can run up this. If you spin dash a lot. Do some exploration, shall we? Let's begin with that rock spire over there. Well, I don't know what the proper term is for spire, or what a spire is, but I'm gonna say this is a spire. All, I've, all I know is that there's the sinking lava spire in Melting Molten Galaxy. Remember this place? This is the place from the tutorial. Froggy's not in here. Froggy is, like, where to call said, up ahead. Also, there's animation for when you inhale a bubble. Enragement child. Enragement cat. <laughs> no, how that sound effect has evolved, or rather, devolved. Because it, they just 
plane took it out in this version. I don't know about Sonic Advance, though. Well, how, why did I jump? Nice fish here. Nicer than Mario 64, actually. We got the angel fish, we got some regular fish, we got apparently a huge robo fish. Why is there a robo fish in here? No idea. This place, by the way, it's not the best place to actually fish for a big fish. Also, where's the exit? It's not the best place to fish for fish. You're best looking for hammerhead sharks. They're gener they're almost always 2,000 grams. Oh, there it is. I'll keep in mind for that. I like how this place has like a hole in the center. It's a it's a nice place to, to take a nap at least. Of course, you'll just fall in the water when you roll over, so that's never good. Also, are you okay there, Chow? Are you okay? You don't even have a swimming sprite? Like, at least... Like... I'm surprised they don't give him a, a swimming sprite. Also... There we go, there's where that place is. Also, that's a long friggin' tunnel. Longer than I thought it would be. Never noticed that. I thought his pupils were smaller. <laughs> that would've been funny. Okay, well, let's just try and get Froggy, which I believe is right next to the lighthouse. But I'm gonna explore this underwater section anyway. So we get fish like this, which... This is really big for a fish like this. I thought they were, like, generally one of the smallest fish. Here's a hammerhead shark, although this one's really, really small, but I'm not fishing for them right now. Here's the eel, which, it looks really vicious. I mean, look at that thing. Here's a sharky. Where's the swordfish? I know there's a swordfish here. I like how I inhaled the bubble and didn't even see it. Oh look, it's two hammerheads, one bigger than the other. This is its child. This has got to be 2,000k, but I'm not fishing for it. A 2,000k, that would be 2 million. 2,000 grams. 2,000 grams, by the way, is like slightly less than 2 pounds, which is not good for a fish. I mean, like, in Mark Davis's Pro Bass Challenge, you can have, like, fish as big as, like, like, 40 pounds or something is ridiculous. Like, now that's be better than big. Like, seriously. What's this? Primary. Big Shadow. I swear that's what it says when you see a huge fish. So I've, I've been kind of taught that if you're catching little fish, they're like easy to lure, but but hard to actually lure in because they fight a lot. They fight harder than any other fish, and and when they're bigger, they're harder to lure it to lure to your lure, but they're easier to reel in. Here, this is not the case. It's like, the bigger the fish, the harder it is for both of those things. Also, I didn't pay attention to the poor frog. Oh, there he is. He's just right there. I'll lure him towards the front. Really? Come on. No, not you. Come on, Froggy, take the bait. It's right here. The big bite, Froggy. Immediately. 
frickin' immediately catches Froggy. Like, no effort at all. I just pressed A for, like, less than a second. Also, Big is not skewed here. Usually he is, for some reason. Also, the sounds like they play here. Uh oh. He wants to hump him. No, hold on. That animation. There. Come back, please. Also, Froggy's not in his hands. Back. I'm begging you, please. He's standing there. You can catch up to him. Why aren't both of you moving? Also, Big, how did you follow Gamma? I mean, Gamma like flew to Angel Island. And then walked all the way to the jungle. How did you follow him there? Did you like swim the entire freaking ocean in like less than 16 hours? And then climbed several cliffs and canyons? I mean, wow, big. You're pretty damn good. You're pretty damn adventurous. Froggy? This place doesn't look familiar to me at all. Why your mouth is big? I guess because you're too big. That smells it smells like Froggy's around somewhere. It smells like water. Let's see what's behind this door. I've seen I've seen tadpoles before. Well, I've been around tadpoles before. It smells pretty aquatic. I guess this place does smell aquatic. Well, that's all we're gonna do for this part of Song Adventure. It's pretty. It's been. Rather really short. But whatever, we did a stage, not much else. There's not really much to do with Big, honestly, but yeah. In the next part, we shall finish up Big Story. There's not much left of it, honestly. I'm guessing it'll take as long. Exit! Exit! What? what? What'd you say, Big? Anyway, um, there's not really much of a Big Story left. I'm guessing it might take as long as this one. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.